Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a video on an exciting product I've actually been waiting to test for quite some time and that is Altair Astro's new certified RGB filters for monochrome cameras. I was given these by Altair a little while ago um, and unfortunately and I'm sure you've all experienced the terrible weather we've had this winter loads of cloud we haven't actually had many opportunities to test much but luckily this week it has cleared and I've been able to get out and give them a try and we've got a practical astronomy show coming up in one week's time and that's uh, next weekend um, I'm really looking forward to going these will be available on the Altair stand so be sure to check them out um, and if you're there hopefully I'll get to say hello to you but if not have a great show really enjoy it and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to it myself so in case you didn't know my name's Glenn and you're watching Astro Bloke Hey everyone, so I recently reviewed some uh, filters from Altair Astro which were their 3 nanometer SHO filters, their narrowband filters, and they were exceptional. I must say um, they're actually the best filters I've used to date. Um, I've got a Newtonian scope a CT10 that actually goes below F4 to F3.6 and even though these filters were only made to F4, they actually performed perfectly. I had no problems at all. And I was having problems with my filters that I originally had, which were my Antlia uh, three nanometer filters. When I went below F4, I started to get some flares and uh, problems with the uh, filters, particularly the S2. So um, the Altair ones performed way, way better and I've managed to take some lovely images with these. This image in particular, which I took with Simon of Simon's Astro, which is the Wolf Rat Star, the WR134, came out really really well and the Altair filters really did perform brilliantly. The really sharp detail and lovely colours. So I've got high expectations of their red, green and blue ones. They already provide uh, a luminance uh, UV IR cut filter which I know works perfectly well. I've used many, many times, but these are brand new. And one of the nice things with Altair is all of their filters are individually certified and they will come with their own certificate. So they don't run, so some people do, what they do is they run a, a whole series of filters and they print one test sheet for the whole series. Altair are not doing that. They make their own filters, they do their own coatings um, and they do individual reports for each filter. So you're guaranteeing what you're getting. So I think that is an excellent service and uh, it's really nice to know that you're getting some filters that are being made in the UK. I think it's fantastic. Okay, so jumping on Altair Astro's website, you can see that the filters are here. A whole set is priced in for £162.50 excluding the VAT, so any of you from outside the UK is what you'll pay. If you're in the UK, you've got to add the VAT, so it's £195. I think this is an excellent price for a set of RGB filters, especially at two inch size. So that's, uh, that's, that's very competitive as always with Altair Astro. I know that they've worked very hard with the coatings. I was talking to Nick and Ian about this and they've worked really hard to make sure that the uh, controlling things like halos and uh, any internal reflections and things, so they've got good anti-reflective coatings and they've made sure that halos are an absolute minimum, if at all. So they've worked really hard on the coatings and it's nice to see 
that these are actually being made by Altair. They're responsible for the coatings themselves. And as I say, every single filter is tested and is certified. So you know you're getting the quality from them. I haven't got hold of one of their new filter wheels yet, but um, I have seen them. They look really nice. They're gonna be at the show. I know someone that has one of the filter wheels and they've told me that it's really, really excellent. I think very importantly about the Altair filter wheel is it's a quality product, but really well priced. So if you were looking at something like say the ZWO filter wheel or Pegasus's uh, Indigo filter wheel, you're looking at at least a hundred pounds more for the same kind of product. So a uh, really competitively priced filter wheel and it looks really nice, I like it. So uh, well done Altair for bringing that out. I also know they've all started to produce uh, an automatic focuser as well. I'm really hoping I'll be getting my hands on some of these products to test and then review for you. Um, everything that I've had ever had from Altair has always been excellent, so I look forward to that. But uh, this will all be at the show, and I know that Nick and Ian will be there to answer any of your questions. So yeah, go and see, go and say hello to them. Okay, so what's really important is how do these filters perform? And I can honestly say they have been brilliant. So I've got some images here to share with you. Um, I've been taking M106 uh, with my CT10, so that's a F3.6 at 900 millimeters. And the images have come out brilliantly. Um, it's a very bright object. And I mean, we've got M106 Galaxy here, lovely details, all the stars looking great. And there's absolutely tons of galaxies in this image. It's quite, quite shocking how many little bits of day detail there are, loads of little galaxies everywhere. It's quite an interesting area. Um, and as you can see on the stars, lovely and sharp. Um, they're very bright. This is a stack, not a single image. So to show you what that looks like. So that's the luminance. I've got a red. And again, I can show you those really bright stars down there. And the detail on the galaxy. We've got green. And it doesn't really matter what filter we go to the images are really really good lovely and sharp blue this is one that would normally have problems if you're going to have problems as you can see here lovely detail on the galaxy all the little galaxies are there with lots of detail and here's the stars and as we can see no big halos at all around any of them. Everything looking really good and sharp. And they've even got their three nanometer HA filter because I did take a bit of HA. And um, again, lovely detail. I'm starting to get that HA wisp at the top of the um, galaxy there. The filters have certainly lived up to my expectations, which to be honest with you, I'm not surprised. I know that Nick um, and Ian are passionate about their filters. They want them to work really well. Um, and if there are problems with them, they try and get on top of it and fix them. So um, I knew that these were gonna be great filters. They haven't disappointed me whatsoever. So really really nice and they'll definitely be worth having a look at especially at the price they're pitched at so if you're going to the practical astronomy show have a look or if not jump on Altair's website where you can buy them and uh, they'll get mailed to you I'm going to leave you now with two images of the uh, M106 galaxy and the surrounding areas I got two images here one is an RGB just an LRGB image and then I've got the LRGB image with the HA included just giving that little bit deeper detail in the red areas and the HA that's in that uh, image so I hope you enjoy that and um, hopefully I'll see you at pass but if not please enjoy the show and don't forget keep looking up and of course, I'd like to wish you all 
clear skies.